Hey everyone, it's Miss Novak here, and we are going to be doing a garage band project. So, uh, this is for our rondo form project for the classical period. So, the first step you're going to do is you're going to be taking a look in your live loops styles. And even though the classical period is obviously a completely different style than this, we are going to choose the rock style for our project. So this is super exciting. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to begin by experimenting with the different sounds that you want to use. So I'm going to click on a couple of choices and decide on which ones I like the best. And then I'm going to record four measures. So I'm going to hit that sorry, that red circle up at the top. I'm going to wait until that recording bar gets until the number four and then I'm going to hit the stop button. So I'm going to choose a couple of these here. stop on its own. Now that I have four measures in our project, there is a plus sign on that far right side of the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on that plus sign. So it says song sections. And guess what? We automatically have section A, which is great because that means that we already have our first section of our song. Now, this, since this is just an example, I'm going until four bars, but for your project, you're going to do eight bars for each section. Now, I'm going to click on the duplicate button, and I'm going to click on the duplicate button one more time. Now, I'm going to go in, click on section B, because section B needs to be different. I need to make sure that I delete any of the information that's inside of this, these measures. In order to get to those bars, I'm going to click on the, in the upper left hand corner, the third button from the left. It is the one that has lots of thick bars. And so then here we have our different measures. You're gonna go ahead and double click on each of the options and click delete. Once you have deleted all of those other bits and pieces, now you have a clean slate. In that same spot is where those thick bars were. Now it looks like a little waffle. So I'm gonna click on the waffle to go back to our loop section. I'm gonna choose a completely different combination and then I'm going to make a four measure recording. And for your project, it will be an eight measure recording. So since this is the B section, you can get, be a little creative with how different things can go. So I'm going to start with that. automatically stops recording on its own with this part. So if I go back to that plus sign, I can see that it says section A has four bars, section B has four bars, section C has four bars. So yours is gonna have eight bars, eight bars, and eight bars. Now I'm gonna click on all sections so I can see the entire song. I'm gonna click on the back arrow that's next to the plus sign and I'm going to have a listen to my entire piece. So enjoy, and when you present yours uh, for your project, you can either do a screen recording of the screen, 
playing through your entire song, or I believe there's a way that you can export your file. So you can be able to export your file after, and I'll show you how to do that after this. That is our song. Now, in order to export this file, what you're going to do is not click on the wrench, but you're going to click on the My Songs. And when you get to My Songs, you're going to label your song how you think. So I'm going to call it Rondo Project. And now I have the ability to share it by double or click and hold and then there's a share button I'm going to share the song I will keep it at medium quality you can fill out your information about your name your name again and then you can name your album and if you'd like to add a cover image, you're welcome to. And then click on share in the upper right corner. And then you can share it directly to Seesaw if you'd like. You can copy it to iMovie. You can copy it to iTunes, or you could uh, send it directly to yourself by an email, and then you can upload it there. So. I hope you all have a wonderful time with your project and enjoy because you have lots of time to be able to get really creative with this project. Have fun. Have a good day.